Hi, this is Terry from Rock Solid Technical Services. I'm going to show you how to configure vCenter customization specification. By utilizing the correct versions of Microsoft SysPrep in the correct folders, you'll be able to achieve the full customization specification when deploying templates or cloning virtual machines. You'll want to download deploy.cab files for each OS from Microsoft.com. Extract each deploy.cab and paste those files to the appropriate directories. I'll give you an example here. And see documents and settings, all users, application data, VMware, VMware Virtual Center, SysPrep. Here you'll have the folders and this is where you will extract the deploy.cat files, such as the XPs here. From within the vCenter client. To get there, first go to Home in the upper left. Under Management, you'll see Customization Specifications Manager. Go ahead and click on that. Up here at the top you'll see New and Import. We're going to select New to create a new specification. That brings up the vSphere Client Windows Guest Customization Wizard. First thing that you're going to need to choose is the Target Virtual Machine OS. Available as Windows and Linux. We're going to go with a Windows. You can use a custom sysprep answer file. We won't be doing that for this one. You can name it. And put a description. Then you click next. It'll then want the owner's name and organization. This is for the virtual machine that gets created. The next screen that you get to are options is for the NetBIOS name, or computer name. We're going to go ahead and just put student. And then we're going to also check append a numeric value to ensure uniqueness. This will add different numbers as it creates more. Your other options are use virtual machine name and enter in enter a name in the deploy wizard or to generate a name using custom application configured with vCenter server. This is where we would put the product key. If the virtual machine does not require licensing information, we can leave the field blank. And you can select the server license mode per seat or per server. Next screen, we configure the administrator password for the virtual machine. And you can select to automatically log on as the administrator and the number of times to automatically log on. Then, next is the time zone. Run once. You can specify commands to be run the first time your user logs on. Network. You can use the typical settings to apply standard configuration settings, including enabling DHCP on all the network interfaces, 
or you could set up custom settings to manually configure the network. If you do that, it gives you the network interface to customize. Next, you would choose workgroup or domain. And finally, you can create generate a new security ID or SIM. And we'll go ahead and leave that checked. You can review what the uh, customization is going to do. And when finished, okay. And now you have a new customization specification to implement on new virtual machines. Thank you for watching.